Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. And in this video, we are going to do modal analysis with help of Abacus CAE. Modal analysis is study of inherent dynamic characteristics of a system in form of natural frequency and mode shapes. As you must be aware, whenever we apply some cyclic load on structure, if the frequency of that applied cyclic load matches its natural frequency, then the amplitude of vibration of that structure will keep on increasing and it ultimately it will fail. Therefore, it is very important to understand the natural frequencies and mode shapes of structure well in advance so that you can avoid such catastrophes. And modal analysis helps us to find out the natural frequencies and mode shapes. So structural engineers need these natural frequencies because for example, if earthquake happens, earthquake has certain range of frequency. Therefore, the structure should be built in such a way that it should not have any natural frequency in that range. Let's take an example of this Dubai frame. We will find out what are the mode shapes and natural frequencies of this frame. First, let's simplify the model. So this frame can be represented as this. We are going to use beam elements. If you want to know more about beam analysis using Abacus CAE, please check out this my other video. And we will assume the cross section of this frame is rectangular like this. So this is just an assumption to make things easier. I have given all the dimensions and all these dimensions are in meters. We will assume the material of frame to be steel and all the properties of steel are given over here. As this is a dynamic analysis, we will need density as well. And for this example, we will stick with SI units. Let's start with Abacus CI. First set up your working directory and then let's model part. to the wire. And dimensions are, this is 150. Hundred. And again, 150. Then go to properties, create material. Density is 7700, which is in kg per meter cube. Young's model is 200 gigapascal. You have to put it in Pascal. So into nine and poison's ratio is 0 0.3. then create a section. Now here you have to choose beam section. And when you choose beam section, you have to create a profile. Now this profile will be the cross section of beam. So over here go in rectangular, continue, and you just have to input the A and B. So which is height and width of your cross section. For us it is 5 and 10. So A will be 10, B will be 5. Material is selected as steel, say OK. Then assign the section for this whole structure. Now for beam, we have to assign orientation as well. I will just keep it default orientation, whatever it is. You can go to view and part display options and you can select this render beam profile so that you will see if it is applied correctly or not. Yes. Next, go to assembly, create an instance, go to step, create a step. Now over here, you have to go into linear perturbation step and in linear perturbation, select frequency as a step, say continue. Here now you have two options. Either you can select a frequency range. That means you will give a specific frequency range and Abacus will give you back all the natural frequencies in that particular range. Or you can select value and then Abacus will give you those many natural frequencies. So for example, here if I say six, the first six natural frequencies will be provided by Abacus. Let's select that at six. 
then we have to apply boundary conditions so i'm going to fix these two points as our frame is firmly secured on the ground and you can just use this fix all degrees of freedom to zero next go to mesh first you have to switch to part then seed the part maybe five just go to mesh and make sure element type is beam yes it is then mesh the part then go to job create a job dubai frame and submit it done that was quick let's go to results here also you can go into view go to odb display options and again render beam profiles over here and then you can see different mode shapes and natural frequencies for that you can go into results and go to step slash frame so you can see we requested six natural frequencies so these are first six natural frequencies every structure will have multiple natural frequencies but these are first six now what we are seeing here is mode one if you go to mode two and say apply this is the second mode then third mode similarly we have up to mode six and all the frequencies are mentioned over here also you can animate this so let's say mode first and then using this animate harmonic button you can animate this so you know how exactly the structure is vibrating in that particular mode you can adjust the speed over here maybe let's bring it down a little bit yes so this is the first mode then you can go to next mode and see how this mode is don't believe the magnitude values these are not real values this is just representative values but our main interest is mode shapes and natural frequency so these mode shapes and natural frequencies depends on boundary conditions as well so in this example we fixed these two ends therefore in all modes you will see displacement of these two ends will be zero let's see mode three. Oh, it's like a dancing so these are all the dance steps our structure can do. I know it's very lame analogy, but anyway, so that's it for this video. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.